We're getting too many games that look exactly the same. We're getting too many Call of Duties. We're getting too many, um, I wouldn't even say Bullet Storm. I mean, just bad games in general, and they're exactly the same game. I'm tired of seeing the same exact game. Everything is the same exact game. No one's bringing anything to the table. There's no innovation. This gen is all about how can we make this game look like a movie? So when we actually make a movie, people won't have a problem going to see it at a movie. That seems like the whole concept of video gaming right now. And I want to tell you this right now. If DMC was a movie, it will still be just as bad as the Chung Lee movie. It will still be on that level. Nobody would want to go see that shit. You want like, oh, hell no. I'll go on some internet and download it, watch it, give you my opinion, delete that shit, and go on about my life. Cause I said I just saved myself nine, twelve bucks from going to see this whack ass movie. This movie does not deserve my money. <laughs> just like this game. This game does not deserve my money. And we've already seen on Steam that they're trying to do bundles for this shit. Already. The game ain't even out yet. You're trying to do bundles with this shit? And the game is already Get out of here, man. Capcom, this this there's a time where you gotta just sit there and say you know what? We didn't learn from our mistakes. We need to stop doing what we're doing. Props to Greg, man, to trying to listen to people. I've seen what he did with Main Event. Good job. But Capcom, you're going to have to really make the, the real big boy, put your big boy pants on and make the big decisions. Get rid of Sven. Get him out of there. he got to go. Yes, I said just like that. he got to go. He's got to get out of there. He's not doing anything. All he's doing is he's just sucking up air and putting money in his pocket. He needs to step down. If he doesn't step down, fire his ass. He got to go. That's my suggestion. That is my biggest suggestion for Capcom. Get rid of the people who've been making the bad decisions. Assure's Wrath should have been better. And now I'm looking at Remember Me. I'm already telling you right now, that game is bad. It should be a lot better. You put tons of money into that game, and it's not... Who who talks about this game? Apparently me, because I'm the only one that's been talking about it. Nobody's been talking about Remember Me. And that's exactly what people are going to be saying 10 years later. You remember this game? Neither do me. Uh, neither do I. I don't remember this shit. I don't remember this game. I don't remember this game at all. The main character is black? Are you sure? <laughs> you sure you're not talking about... um? Uh, Bionic Commando? Are you sure you're not talking about Spencer? Because that's the only black character I know. <laughs> no, man. It's, it's bad. It really is. There's And then it's like, oh, there's so many ways you can combo. And I'm looking at the combat system. That shit's bad, too. We're talking about... This is pretty much what you're going to have to state from ever, from now on when it comes to Capcom games. Is it better than Devil May Cry 2? If you can't say yes, you didn't do your job. And that's the only thing I can really say about Devil May Cry when it comes to I can never argue about. Is Devil May Cry 2 the worst sequel that ever came out in Capcom history? I can't say yes and I can't say no. It's up in the air. Because there's other games that came out that a lot of people was like, oh, that wasn't good. <laughs> that wasn't good. It really wasn't. Some of them can't come, I can't come to mind with it, but a lot of the the worst because the reason why I can't say sequel because I've seen so many reboots that should have never been done. I mean, they tried to reboot Strider, and they shut down on that. That was probably their best decision that they've made in years. Trying to reboot um, Final Fight, really a bad decision. That was bad. What'd you do to my do my my boy guy, Guy guy whatever you want to pronounce it? What did you do to my boy? He looks like shit now. Let's just stop. Now we're gonna do some uh, expand. Then we're gonna do the actual final thoughts on this whole entire subject. 
only thing I can pretty much sit there and state when it comes to this video that I put out and and I'm gonna sit there and say to you that this is not based on opinion this is based on actual facts this is stuff that I've seen this is stuff that I know this is stuff that I've experienced so if anybody has a problem with this video I don't, I don't say it the same way that other people have stated in their videos prove me wrong by making your own video show me what I don't see and and if you're right you're right if you're wrong you need to accept the fact that you're wrong just like if I'm wrong I'll accept it I got the balls to sit there and say hey if you can prove me wrong I'm most definitely gonna take it I would take it as a fault and just say I need to work on that but until then I'm telling you when it comes to Devil May Cry 2 and this new DMC Devil May Cry 2 it is no longer the worst game of the franchise no longer end of discussion you cannot sit here and say oh well the game is not out. we've seen tons and tons and tons of shit on this game and to be perfectly honest that is Capcom's biggest mistake with this game not the fact that they made it they tried they made the game it's the fact that they keep constantly showing us and giving us proof that yeah this game sucks most definitely sucks and I got tons of proof as to why I got threads to show you. I got posts to show you. I got forums that can back it up. Everybody knows that DMC is going to fail and it should fail. The only thing that most people sit there and say, oh, well, you're incorrect. It's still going to sell well. But is it going to sell on the uh, levels of Devil May Cry 1? Is it going to sell on the level of Devil May Cry 3? No. No, it's not. No way in hell not going to happen it's gonna be another assurance wrap to be perfectly honest you might because I already know people in Japan don't like this game we've already seen uh, screenshots of that and they're basing it off the demo and one guy was like oh well the demo ain't been out there it doesn't fucking matter at this point they've been working you know the time when this game was supposed to come out it wasn't supposed to come out next year it supposed to have came out last year They've been working on this game since 2010. It was supposed to come out October of 2011. They pushed it back. Then it was like, oh, we're not going to. When they pushed it back, they didn't want. Uh, Alex kept coming out, sitting there saying, oh, well, well we're not going to decide on with an old catfish looking Negro. I, I, I'm tired of him, too. I'm tired of seeing his face. I, I, I want him to just sit down and just shut up. Because I know deep down he's probably sitting there thinking, man, this game really does suck. But I gotta feed my kids. I gotta do this and do. I'm like, man. Personal responsibility versus integrity. Those aren't even on the same level, dog. You can always get another job. You do not have to sit there and kiss nobody's ass just because you want to sit there and feed your kids. There's plenty of places you could go to. Plenty of companies that you can go work for and possibly make even more money. So I hope when if Alex uh, hears this shit or sees it or have somebody say, hey, man, this this other black guy was talking shit about you. Yeah, I was talking shit about you because you really shouldn't even be promoting this game because, you know, deep down, this game sucks. You know it. I can see it on your face. I can see how you talk. You're not very confident in this game. That's why uh, a certain person um, uh, was it Seth. He left. There's a reason. He can't keep he can't continue to keep backing these games up and he know they're not good. They're they're so controversial. And to be perfectly honest, this game should not even get as much attention as it should. The only reason why this game is getting attention is because it sucks. We're trying to let you know it sucks, and we're trying to let you know that hey, you shouldn't have made this game. You shouldn't be continuously trying to crank this shit out and trying to get your money back. Because I promise you, all the money that you spent on this this company that you decided on that wants to use the same motion capture from avatar you blew a lot of money you blew a lot of, uh, tons of money and that same amount of money that you've been throwing at um gamestop you've been throwing at best buy you've been throwing um with ads with ign and one up and everybody else you're trying to get people to like this game and then somebody sit there and say you know what this demo was really bad 
and it's not because it was a badly made demo it's because the game is bad it really is compared to all the other games there's more people that's gonna have more fun playing Devil May Cry 2 than this shit and to be perfectly honest most people's arguments they're gonna sit there and say well the game's newer so it has to be good no <laughs> no just because it came out um, you know in this era next gen doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a greater game it doesn't because you can always have the wrong people working on the wrong game and that's exactly what happened it's bad enough that you pick ninja theory to work on the game it's even worse as to why you wanted them to work on this game a certain way and the biggest troll of them all sits there and leaves he, he sets you all up a lot of people never make up this point main event never talks about it i'm probably the only one that says it Y'all been trolled since the beginning. A big major troll. He's pretty much Eisen. He set everybody up. He set everybody up. You're looking at him right now. He set everybody up. He set this game for failure from the start. He is the one that said, show me something that you can do with this game and make it completely different. He knew how popular this game was. He knew. Because as soon as he made those decisions... And as soon as he heard the backlash for it, he bounced. And he's going around making random games and um, for another company. His own company, I believe. I may be wrong, but let's just say for another company. But he set you guys up. You're looking right at him. There's his name at the bottom. That guy. Trolled the hell out of y'all. Because he already knew what Capcom was going to do with Mega Man. You not you, if you don't give a man what he wants, he's gonna find a way to fuck you somehow. That's how it works, and especially when it comes to business, not life. This is business, and that's why he did what he did, and he fucked everybody for it. And uh, and unfortunately, a lot of the fans don't realize it. It's not like with Devil May Cry 2 when somebody just they just felt that you should go in a different direction. And then didn't realize, oh, that was a bad decision. No, this is somebody who knew from the start, this is a bad decision, but I'm doing it on purpose. And you motherfuckers ain't smart enough to realize it. By the time you realize it, it's going to be too late. I'm going to be somewhere in the cut, smiling, saying, just as planned. And you, it took you guys two years to figure this out. Where this guy that's talking right now to you right now, figure that out in two months. As soon as I saw that shit, as soon as I saw that very first trailer, I said, and, and then I heard all the news behind it. I said, this motherfucker did this shit on purpose. Because a few months later, he's gone. And they was even talking to him like, okay, you left. Is it because of Mega Man? He didn't come out and said it, but he pretty much implied it. Yeah. Y'all won't let me finish my game. It's a damn shame that um dead rising was supposed to be his it was his last game he should still he still should have been at capcom making more games and if he probably would have worked on Ashura's wrath that game probably would have came out better probably so why are we having this discussion because we having people who are making bad decisions and the only reason why certain things do well is because of recognition and unfortunately devil may cry has that same recognition it's just like with Resident Evil 6. A lot of people did not like Resident Evil 6. And it's very justifiable as to why. But the fact still remains when it comes to DMC. Mediocre game. I think it's less than me. I, uh, there's no even a uh, level to really describe how bad this game is going to be. Or currently is. You can air dash all you want to. You can um, jump cancel all you want to. You can do a perfect evade all you want to. The game still sucks, plain and simple. And when you go back and you start seeing all this stuff, and you start seeing the fans finally get their hands on the game, which they're probably gonna, this you're probably gonna see bids on this game probably late in December, probably early January. Somebody's gonna leak this game, and people are gonna finally see it on YouTube, and people are gonna finally see for themselves that this game really does suck. It's not even worth a rental. And I'm going to sit there and say, hey, I stated it. I told you, and here it is. Don't get mad at the messenger. 
just get mad at the message. And I, the only thing I did was tell you the truth. There's the truth right there. Get mad at the truth. And to be perfectly honest, you should be able to handle the truth by now. Because most of you are supposed to be adults. It's time to grow up on a lot of this stuff. A lot of this stuff. But if you can't do it, too bad. Because this game still sucks. But anyway, this is your boy Shadow ending this whole little video. I hope you enjoy it. Peace out.
playing with this freak. If he catches you off guard. Yeah, okay, enough of the running commentary, thank you. Steal the code from this bird brain and get to Silicarte Wells. Okay, I've got an idea. Stay frosted, sis. This guy's serious. So this is your great plan, huh? To hide forever. <laughs> it's over, Nillin. Show yourself. Here's your crown.